Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game Zoltan von Bala and Karoli Sturk that was played in Budapest in 1921. Zoltan von Bala had white pieces and he started with e4. Sturk played knight to f6, Alekin defense. e5 is a very popular move in this position. Knight to c3, simply defending the pawn. d5, e5, d4. Pawn takes knight, pawn takes knight. B takes on c3, g takes on f6, d4, e5, bishop to d3, pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and black played knight to c6. Can black win the pawn on d4? If queen takes on d4, then bishop to b5 check, white is winning the queen. So in the game we have a knight to c6, knight to e2, bishop to e6, white castled kingside, queen to d7, bishop to e3, black castled queenside, queen to c1, rook to g8. How do you like black's position? White played queen to b2 and we have reached the critical position of the game. It is black to move. How should black continue? Should black play something like bishop to d6 applying more pressure on white castle king or should black sacrifice the rook on g2 and to follow with the bishop and with the queen checkmating white king. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for black. Ready? What did you find? In the game Black was very brave. He sacrificed the rook on g2. This is check. King takes rook. Bishop to h3. Check. King to g1. Queen to g4. It looks like that everything is working according to the plan. Knight to g3. Queen to f3. And the threat is checkmate on g2. Is there a way that white can stop the checkmate? Well, there is. White played bishop to e4. Oops! Black's sacrifice with rook on g2 backfired. And instead of mating attack, he loses his queen. Black resigned. Did something like this ever happen to you? You think that you are winning, but suddenly your opponent finds a move that ruins your day. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.